Hey, this is David again from the Shepherd School. We're going to talk about some radiation protection issues. And today we're going to talk a little bit about dose symmetry. Um, dose meters, uh, dosimeters, are basically odometers to your radiation exposure. Whereas a survey meter, right, a uh, Geiger counter, is a speedometer of radiation exposure. It will, you know, a, a survey meter or a Geiger counter will tell you how much you're getting right now. But if you go away, it won't tell you how much you have. A dosimeter will tell you your cumulative dose. Okay, and this is something that uh, that if you're going to mess around with radiation, you need to get get some. Now, just like we talked about with the meters, these things have to be calibrated. Basically, they're they're metal tubes. Some of them are plastic. These are these are older, and I wouldn't actually trust one of these for real use because I did, haven't um, checked it. I haven't had it calibrated. But inside this tube, there's a crystal. Okay, and, and ham radio guys will probably understand. Uh, some crystals, when you put a charge on them, they vibrate or they or they change shape, and that's what this one does. And attached to the crystal, there is a filament. Okay, and you look through that lens, and I know you can't see that, but inside that lens there is a um, gauge, right? A little uh, um, zero to, let me hold it up to the light and see. Measures in Rankin from zero Rankin to 200 Rankin, right? And then there's a line that goes up and down, you know, from the top of the screen to the bottom. When you hold this thing up to the light, you can see that filament, okay? Now what happens is you need to charge this and put electricity on it and that will move that filament to the zero. Then as ionizing radiation enters this tube it knocks the electrons off of the crystal and what happens is then the crystal will want to go back to its original shape so it moves. If this is calibrated properly the amount of electrons that are knocked off will correspond to the amount of radiation that you have received on the chart. So you can see once you get 200 Rankin on here you've been exposed to 200 Rankin. And there's a couple different sets of chargers for these. This is the civil defense model. It just has a little battery on the inside. A little negative side, a little plus side. You put the battery in there. Stick it down on the box. Turn it pretty tightly. And it's got a upscale, downscale. If you look on the end of your dosimeter, there's a little metal tip, a little metal contact point there too. When you press down on it, see how it like, you know, see the little light, okay? When you do that, you just stick this on here, and then it pumps electricity in and turns on the light at the same time, and you stick your little eyeball on it. You turn until you get the filament right on zero. Then you take it off. And you always have to check to make sure you didn't jack it up as you took it off. This one went a little past zero, so I had to redo it. You just do that until this thing's on zero. Then when you want to wear it, you want to wear it on your outermost garment of clothes, the center of your body. Okay? You don't want to wear it in your pocket. You don't want to leave it on the dashboard of your car. You want to wear it on the centermost part of your body so that you see what you've been exposed to. Okay? The other kind of dosimeter, the one that I like better, is the hand charger. Right? Basically, got a little lift up clamp. You move it back and forth because different manufacturers are made them from different sizes. And it's got this trigger that moves the clamp back and forth. Squeeze it, take the contact end, put it to the uh, tip end, lay it in there, let go. It should hold it pretty good, and it completes that circuit. Then just like there's a little dynamo in here, just like a little Claymore clicker, you squeeze it, and it's producing electricity. So you hold this end up to your eye, pointing it up at the light, this end up to the light, this end to your eye, and you squeeze until you get the thing on zero. Okay. Now if you happen to go too far you can do one of two things. Right above here there's a button. This button discharges electricity. 
just like radiation would discharge electricity from the crystal. You press that, it bleeds off the, the, the uh, electricity, then the dosimeter filament moves back. Um, however, that goes kind of slow. I'm kind of ADHD, so I want to get it done pretty quick. See, there's a little hole right there. If you sque squeeze it until you totally charge the crystal, see how it flashed? Once that crystal is completely charged, there's a circuit that will discharge and bleed off all the electricity all at once. Okay, see how it just, I keep squeezing, it keeps does it. About, about, basically about 11 tries. Just like your electric dosimeter, when you take this thing off, you want to check it to make sure that it works. Now with this, you want to make sure that you keep checking it. It does you no good if you don't check it. Uh, in my state, the standard is you read this thing every 15 minutes. And if it moves at all, you tell your supervisor. And then we have what we call protective action guides that come from the EPA that tell you, you know, it's worth this amount of exposure to save property. It's worth this amount of exposure to save uh, life. It's worth this amount of exposure to do your general work, right? And this tells us how much we've received so we know what it's safe for us to, to do or not. Okay, so, but you have to get them charged and, and checked also every year. These have a horrendous failure rate uh, just sitting on the shelf. So uh, if you buy one on eBay, make sure that you send it out to get it calibrated or it will do you no good. Okay, so that's all I've got to say about that. And until next time, you can catch us online, www.tngun.com.